Hey everybody! I'm back. <laughs> Sorry it's been a while since I filmed one of these, but I've just kind of been slacking off with the videos lately. Um, I'm trying out a new microphone. Hopefully it's working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so right now our mission is to get the protocore components to Mandark. Now we gotta go all the way to Genius Grove, but I think I'm gonna run over to the monkey Skyway agents over in the junkyard and they can take me to Genius Grove. But while I'm running, I just wanted to say happy very late Halloween. Uh, I think the last video I posted was on Halloween about my Mr. Mint costume. Hopefully some of you enjoyed that. Um, maybe it even inspired some of you to dress as your favorite board game characters. <laughs> But if you didn't dress as a board game character, or if you did, let me know, because I'd love to know what y'all dressed as. Ooh, while I'm here, oh no, this is not a trailer park. Never mind. Yeah, let's go Peach Creek and then the Genius Grove. So I don't know how much is getting picked up. I don't know how close I have to be to the microphone. Because it's just kind of a shitty phone karaoke microphone. So I'm not sure whether I have to be really close or like I can be further away. So I'm just erring on the side of caution. So I'm just kind of leaning into the microphone. Um, I just kind of made a makeshift microphone stand. I taped it to the bottom of a cup. And I. <laughs> that's my mic stand. So. Now we're back in the cul-de-sac, and we gotta fly to Genius Grove. Hey, where are you going? Also, since the last time I played this, um, they had a Halloween update, which was pretty cool. Um, but of course, it's only in the past, so I would have had to rush through the future just to get to the past for the Halloween update. And it wasn't really like that much. There were some new items you could get. Um, and they made the whole world dark. So it was all, always nighttime. And they had some kind of spooky music, I guess. Um, but other than that, there wasn't that much. I know they had the uh, hollow suits. They changed to like green skeletons. And you could get a green skeleton head and wings. So that's cool. I think that's still around at the moment. But I'm not sure. So I'm sorry I didn't get any of that on a video, but. Hopefully you guys don't feel like you missed too much. Also, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to sell stuff. Hey. It's like sell everything. <laughs> oh yeah, except that. Is that one I want to keep? That one's like ultra rare or something? Yeah. Whoops. I don't know what I just sold. Also, if you sell something by accident, you can go back over here. And see what you sold. It looks like I sold that jacket. I can just sell the rest of these. It's a lot of stuff. Sorry, this is taking so long. Okay. So now, now we can talk to Mandar. Let me guess. You want a mission? 
Thanks to you, my protocol is restored. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Now get back to saving the world. Can't you see I'm busy? Alright then. So then we have these two missions. I kind of want to do this one. This one's a fun one I remember from playing the game originally. But there's wormholes across the map. And if you go find them, you send messages across time. Like the mission title suggests. To the, uh, in the past there are, yeah, you send them to the past to these the four uh, mission guides just like Computris is our guide in the future uh, there's Benten, Dexter, Double D from Ed, Ed and Eddie and Mojo Jojo they're the four guides you can choose any one of them Catch you later. so here's this first one are you receiving me? So I don't know. Oh, he says, first I want you to send a message to Dexter, my arch rival. So this one's, this, this message was for Dexter. Now we're going to the cul-de-sac to send one to Ed. Now I gotta run back to the monkeys through all the fusion matter and the monsters. I think these monsters look pretty cool, the spiders. I don't think they're very threatening. I'm two levels above them, so I shouldn't should be okay. And I believe I'm not too sure about this, but I think they may have added more missions to the future between now and the last time that I played. Because this one I know wasn't in the original build, I guess. Or the first beta. I think it ended up in the original game, but I think they ended up taking it out. So then in this, in retro, I think they had it out at first and then they put it in. I know it's very confusing. And I'm not good at explaining it either. But yeah, today my parents are out and my brother's upstairs because he's laying in bed. He had like toenail surgery. So I guess he had an ingrown toenail. So that's, that happened. Um, and our dog is being annoying. I don't know what's up with him. He just like whines all the time. And I fed him already. He probably has to walk, but it's kind of rainy out. So I didn't, and he doesn't like the rain either. So, I mean, that's his problem, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sure my dad or my mom will take him out eventually. So this wormhole, I know I'm not a very good <laughs> pet owner. Um, so this message goes to Ed. So he says, The next wormhole is in Hero Square at Sector V. Oh, here's the hollow suit. This is hollow suit Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Um, so here's... So these three body items will change with every one. So like... If you buy these three now, the next time there's an event, they'll change to that. But these two should stay the same. Because you, like, bought them. I guess they want you to keep them like that. Goodbye. I also have a crate up here. I don't want to wear those. Those are ugly. Lots of shoes. And a... <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like the look of these. I think it looks really gross. Uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be. Improve, improved comforter trouser. Yeah. They might be comfortable, but they're really ugly. And these skater shoes, I get a lot of those. 
I'm gonna put these gumballs up here. Also, I didn't know this before, but if you just saw, I like put both of those gumballs together so you can stack them. I think you can hold up to 20 in the same square. So, a pro tip for Fusion Fall, because <laughs> I did not know that in the original game, and that kind of like changed my world when I found that out. So now we gotta go to Hero Square, so we gotta take the scamper. All that should take us right next to it. Let's see. Yeah, it's over here. It's funny, they always have these plumber agents, I think. Yeah, next to all the wormholes. So this one, I think, goes to Ben. Yeah, it goes to Ben Tennyson, he says. The last one's Pokey Oak South. So, oh, and this one, we're, we're being timed, so. I think, I mean, yeah. I think I should. I can warp over there, but I don't know. But while I'm running, I might as well talk about... Yeah, I had... So, I have, like, some good conditions for making a video. And I figured, right, like, making these gaming videos is easy. Or simple. And, like, I don't have to do much editing. Or really any editing. I just have to make a thumbnail and upload it. And I really enjoy that, but it's easy. So I figured I might as well take this opportunity where there's no one really around to hear me to make a video. <laughs> now remember, I told my dad the other day, well it was like a little while ago, he was like, since I'm not in school, I have <laughs> less to do than the average 20 year old. And so Let's he was rest. like, oh, what have you been doing? We were in the car together. He was like, what have you, like, have you been creating anything Let's or whatever? Rest. And it was harder for me to say than I thought it would be. But I was like, oh, I've been making YouTube I'm videos. Tired. And he was like, oh, okay. I don't think he was really paying attention to the conversation hey, or to what I said. Go. Uh, but... At least, I said it to him. And I feel like if I did let my family know, like, oh, I'm making videos, they wouldn't really care that much. Um, I guess it would probably let me, or it would allow me to make videos whenever, rather than just moments where everyone's out of the house. So in the past, this is where all the Halloween characters were. So there was Dracula from Billy and Mandy and Fred Fredberger, who's also from Billy and Mandy, I believe. And I think they had the hollow suit person there too. And a... I think that's it. I think there was one other person, but I can't remember who. So, number two died, but I think we'll be okay. And I'm going to real quick move a microphone. Oops. Just because I was in the way, or the microphone was in the way of me at the... WASD keys. It was kind of like I was reaching around just to walk around. So I figured moving you over to the right side of the keyboard would be better. So far we're looking good. <laughs> so the wormhole is somewhere around here. It should show up. There it is. This plumber guy's just sitting around in the middle of the field of monsters. So this is the last one. I can find... There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you have to walk around before you find the place to click on. 
Good work. All four messages were sent. All, all will bow to Mandark's genius. Sure they will. This is Mandark. All right. So now we got a reward from him. Sorry, this one's been kind of boring so far. It's a lot of walking <laughs> and flying, but hopefully it's better to have something than nothing, I guess, for Fusion Fall. And I mean, I like making this as well. It's one of my favorite games. I know, I think I'm like camera shy and microphone shy, if that's a thing, but... I feel like, in my head, I'm much more energetic than I end up sounding. I don't know if anyone else has to deal with that too. And I think maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get better at this. And I can make better videos and sound more enthused. But, for right now, I'm kind of just getting my sea legs, or internet legs. <laughs> so here's Mandark. Now we can finish this mission. See what he gives us. Thanks for sending those messages. Now, when you go back to the past to save the future, all will know that they have Mandark to thank. Ha! Ha ha ha. Mandark laughs a lot. You did especially good work this time, thanks to my genius. Everyone in the past will know that I helped save the future. Now you just have to do the hard part. Finish the time machine. Okay. And this is a crucial part of the time machine, is the head of Larry 3000. You must find the time-traveling robot called Larry 3000. I would inquire about his location myself, but that would be a waste of my superior intellect. Okay. My mission journal is not full. Oh, because it's a guide mission, that's why. Duh. Okay, so we have to finish Very well. this one first. Before we can get that mission. Because you can only have one nano mission and one guide mission, and then you can have hey, you four going? regular quote unquote world missions. Because usually when you're when you're in the past, you get one guide mission per level. So all you really need is one space for your guide missions. But in the future, if, like, say you're level four and you haven't done any of the guide missions, then you'd have to do them one at a time rather than get all of them at once. So we gotta go. Talk to Ranger Joey. He's here in the cul-de-sac. I think he's the one that owed... Oh, that's this mission. So this mission's uh, Ranger Joey owes Eddie money, I think. Go find Ranger Joey he's somewhere around here in the cul-de-sac and he owes me some money. There we go. Sorry, I've played this future... Uh, part of the game so many times just because I was waiting so long well not that long, it was only a few months but it felt like a long time I just played it so much that I could just zip straight through it <laughs> so here's Ranger Joey for a mission? yeah, I owe Eddie money for some x-ray specs but they don't even work listen, if Eddie wants his money you're going to have to get my wallet back from those dire hydras nearby See you soon. okay so there's Dire Hydras all the way over there, but if you go up here, there's also Dire Hydras. So you don't have to go all the way over there, if you don't want to. If you want to, you're very welcome to go over there. But I think this one just saves time. You might have less luck if you go over here, and you might get it quicker if you go over to where the thing is, but just like that, you can also get it without going to the place where Joey told you to go. Now we gotta give him his wallet. 
We can give Eddie some money. For a mission? Thanks, pal. Bring this money back to Eddie, and we'll be even Steven. Go KND. Zoom zoom. So I think there's a little bit more to this mission, but I'm not sure. But it very well could be, because Eddie just loves money. What a mission. So here we go. Oh, that's it. Nice work, kid. You may be able to help me around here. The war with Fuse means business has been booming. Stop by if you want to lend a hand. Man, I love the smell of money in the morning. Enjoy the reward for your trouble. <laughs> well, thanks, Eddie. So get the goods. Hey, you're the kid that helped me get my money back. If you want to help me with some deliveries... Oh, you want to help me with some deliveries? You seem to be real good at that kind of stuff. We'll be heading to Genius Grove first. What do you mean, we? There's trailer trash. The monsters in the trailer park and the junk heap keep coming around and scaring away my customers. This ain't a charity. Can you get them off my back? I guess so, but I gotta... Yeah, I'm gonna do this mission first. So we gotta go to the trailer park. And in the past, it's full of the... Or not full. It's got two of the Canker Sisters. I think it's Lee and Marie Kanker. The one with the blue hair and the one that you can't see her eyes. It's those two. <laughs> and then I think, yeah, May Kanker is the one that loves Ed. So she goes to the wilds where Ed is. And it's a big mystery where he is in the past, but I guess I just spoiled it. Um, but I guess it's not that much of a mystery if you just go to where the characters are. So I really like these uh, monsters. I think they've got a cool design. I think it's cool how they're made of newspaper. I think it's kind of funny they're like Paper mache. Oops. Okay. So now we gotta go find the dire hydras again. Of course, number two is tired. <laughs> but we're almost there, so I guess. I guess he can rest. So now. Let's find the buckets of water. It's one. Two. Let's see if you got our third. No. Of course not. Cheers, mate. So let's find. What's this guy? Freedom. There we go. See ya. Now we go see Eddie. So I don't know if I. I probably explained this, but freedom will protect you from like status effects. So like, if a monster has a stun. Uh, a stun ability. It won't be able to stun you if you have a freedom nano or a freedom egg going on. What a mission. So let's see. Okay, I'll send this batch of future paste to number two. But there's going to be a special handling charge. Computers will let you know what you need next. Cool. I'm going to use the newsprint and the water and turn it all into a pulpy gooey mess. The secret ingredient is pre-chewed gum. Don't tell anyone. See you later. Secret safe with me, Ed. Eddie, I mean. So let's see. Could do this one or this one. I might as well do this one. Just because I'm already in the cul de sac. Go So I think this one you have to go get the newsprint ninjas again. But. I think you do the pain saws first. Yeah, pain saws and then something else after that. <laughs> Let's see. So, pretty easy to do if you have your buttercup nano out. Oh, okay, now we gotta get the. Gotta get those ninjas. So now we have to walk. All the way over. 
And I don't really want to use number two just because he's Adaptium and the ninjas are Blastons. So I'm just going to save his energy. <laughs> but uh, in terms of the date, I know Thanksgiving is coming up in a few weeks. It's closer than I thought it was. Just kind of weird. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but like, you think, oh, I have plenty of time until that day, and then like suddenly it's tomorrow. <laughs> but that happens to me a lot, where it, especially since I don't have like a structured schedule, I just kind of floating around. So, also, some other. I guess, bigger news. I guess it's not that big. But I had a job interview for another restaurant. Because I quit my other job. Because I had to get out of there. But now I have... I just got a interview at a restaurant at the mall. So I'll have to see what happens. I think it went really well. But I guess... Can't tell the future. So I'll have to see what happens. So now, we go back to Eddie. Also, it must be nice in, like, post-apocalyptic world. I mean, it's overall bad, but it must be nice to live in a post-apocalyptic world, just because you don't have to go to work. <laughs> I know, that's like... That's like a dumb thing to say, but... It's, it'd be nice if I could retire at 20 years old. <laughs> what a mission. Thanks. He has some nerve. Good thing Ed did a nice job when he built this fortress. It keeps all the monsters out, even though it's only made of cardboard. Nice. Hey, you did great. Since Big Ed's not here, I'm going to call you if those monsters come back around. Whatever. Okay. I guess so. So why don't we just finish off this episode with the last... Deliver spark plugs to Mandor. Catch you later. I think I did like half of this mission. And I just didn't do it. Oh no, no, no. This is the one that Eddie just gave me. Where I have to deliver stuff. Okay. So it might be a little longer than I thought. But yeah, in terms of job interviews, and I've only done probably like uh, four or five of those in my life. I think it went pretty well. The guy that was interviewing me was really nice. And I think, I think it went well. Hopefully I'll get the job. I can make some money, some of my own money. I guess I'll just have to wait. While I'm flying, I might as well look at my stuff. Again with the ugly pants. Sorry, I have like a thing about those pants. I don't like them. So now we have... I forgot. I don't think I ever went over this, but for gumballs, you have Adaptium Blast on the Cosmics, and you can give them to your nanos. So say I give this one to uh, say I'll give it to Eddie since I have two of them. So I can go Number two, best beat. get hurt learn. by this monster. Hurt me. Oh. Oh. Huh. Just gonna huh. let it hit me. <laughs> and then if I pull Eddie out, he'd heal me. So he healed me probably a lot more than he or maybe a little more than what he would usually do. So that's what the gumballs are for. They're for powering up your nanos. They're pretty useful, especially for like movement nanos and nanos that you're going to use a lot. So that's pretty good. Well, if it isn't the kid that's supposed to go back in time to save our entire world, I suppose I'm obligated to thank you for the spark plugs. I think you are too. 
Don't even think about taking a break. We got more deliveries. All right, Eddie. Hey, where you going? Now I gotta go back. But yeah, if anyone's out there watching, let me know. Let me know how your interviews have gone. Because <laughs> I remember I've done a few of them. And I had to do two for my first job. I did one Skype call and one phone call interview for the same job and it was kind of like I I did well on both of them and this was like serving at a snack bar so it wasn't even like being a waiter it was just like you stood at the counter and you took people's money and you gave them the food but I didn't get it so <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong but I I guess they just didn't want me. <laughs> but somehow I got my other job. And so I'm glad I have some kind of experience. Because I think without that, a lot of jobs won't consider you. Which I think Go is Zoom -a -zoom. BS. Because <laughs> there's no way to get experience if no one will give you the experience. Which is really stupid. What a Let's see. What's next? Okay, now you need to take these lollipops to the Candy Pirate Weirdo down at the Weirdo Pirate Village in Adios, Candy Cove. So I think we can fly there. It's me. Or at least we should be able to. Need a lift? No, I, oh, I didn't register it. Oh, now I gotta walk there. But it should be okay, I think it's just... You go out in the street... And you go all the way left. It's just annoying because, like, the bridges are the only thing that connects the places. And this is the only bridge for Candy Cove. But Candy Cove, where I'm supposed to go, is all the way over there. But I gotta go all the way over here just to get into Candy Cove. But once I register at the monkey agents, I shouldn't have a problem anymore. So we gotta get lollipops to licorice lips? That's a funny name. I think Candy Cove looks a lot cooler in the past. Just cause if you... Okay, number two. If you look over here, you should be able to see. I think it's called like the Sweet Revenge. Bye bye. Yeah, it's Sticky Beard's oh, ship, yuck. and all these pirates in Candy Cove are the candy pirates, <laughs> licorice lips included. So I think this is him. No, that's him. Get the goods. Shiver me timbers. You bring me the lollipops from that scalawag named Eddie. Yar, these are yummy. I'm glad you like them, licorice lips. So now we can fly back to the cold side. Only one more delivery, oh my gosh. Sorry this one's taking longer than I thought it would. That one's interesting, the like, waterfall of fusion matter. At least I think so. I also think it's very interesting how like the fusion matter has selectively dissolved the areas between the places on the map. Like just between them and not like into them. I guess except for this one. I just think that's interesting. <laughs> well, let's see what Eddie has to say. What's our next assignment? Someone over there has the wings in the hat. There it is. That's how it looks on a person. Number two. So, it's our next delivery. Here you go. You need to take this glass of milk to Samurai Jack. You gotta ask. You gotta go fast. 
The experience. Oh my god, the expiration date is today. Okay. Remember, go as fast as you can, I'm timing you. Alright, I think I'm just gonna take the monkey. Just because it's much faster than walking all the way over there. So this is our last delivery, and I think it's the last, should be the last mission for this episode. Sorry, this one's, this one might be a little longer than usual, but I guess it's okay. It's, it's been a while. It's overdue. So maybe just a little more fusion fall will be able to quench your fusion fall thirst, if that's a thing. You can also feel free to play the game. It's free and it's fun. And I play it. So if we if you want to play together, we can play. Many thanks. A tall glass of milk replenishes the spirit. Perhaps you would like some. We must prepare you for the for your journey back to the past. Now we gotta go back to the cold side. Hey, nice work. You should be a milkman. Those are th those are still a thing, right? I don't know what's up with my words. I just keep tripping over myself. But I don't think milkmen's are. Oh my god, I don't think milkmen are still a thing. Cause you can just go buy your own milk. I wonder why they weren't a thing back then. If anyone knows the history of Milkman, please, please feel free to comment what Milkman, like what the significance of Milkman was in our history. <laughs> also, I'm not really a big fan of milk. Just, just some general trivia. I just think it's like gross. <laughs> I'd rather have just a glass of water. So, now that I'm done talking, you're really good at taking stuff that I give you and bringing it to the places I tell you. You're gonna go far if you keep working for me. 100% customer satisfaction. The world may be ending, but that doesn't mean I can't make a quick buck. I guess you're right. So I think with that, that'll be the last mission that we do in this episode. I hope you had a good time. Sorry it's been a while since I made one of these, but I hope y'all are doing well and you always, and that you always crush every interview that you go to. I'll see you guys later. Let me just, bye. And then I, there we go. <laughs> bye guys.